Después de tanto me buscas. ¿Por qué será? ¿Por qué a mí? Starting off with my favorite primer, Urban Decay. Just patting it on the lid over up into the brow bone area. And next I'm going into the Morphe 35O palette using this creamy matte shade for my base. And just jumping right into the next thing, I'm going into this reddish brown shade from the same palette. And applying it with this fluffy brush from Morphe as well, MB13. And I'm using the shade all over the lid and as also for my transition that's why I chose this fluffy brush so I can just pat it on as well as blend it out because I didn't want the color to be too heavy that's why I chose this fluffy brush patting it on and sweeping back and forth until I get the color I want And next I'm going back into the same palette with this orangey reddish shade and I'm using this Coastal Scents eyeshadow brush and it's a matte shade as well that I'll be applying. And just patting that over the lid, I'm just working it like about halfway up the lid. Just pat 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 and back into the same palette with I'm going in with this copper shimmer shade. And I'm using the same Coastal Sense brush to apply it, as you can tell. I'm just patting it on, same as the color before, just halfway up the lid. I'm just kind of dispersing out the colors while pushing it up. And next, going into my awesome palette. I made this one myself. I made all these pressed glitters, but the shade I'm using is from Eye Candy Cosmetics in Sizzling Cinnamon. And I'll be posting a tutorial soon, I promise. And I'm applying the glitter with this eyeshadow applicator from e.l.f. The silicone tip, I love it. I didn't even have to apply any glitter glue or anything. I just patted it on and it had minimal fallout and it did stay the whole night. And for eyeliner, I used the 24-7 Urban Decay in uh, Demolition, which is like a dark brown shade. And going into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, I'm going to be using the shade Summer Yum for the lower lashes and applying it with prof uh, the e.l.f. Professional Defining Eye Brush, which is kind of like an angled eyeshadow brush. And just sweeping the shade like uh, alongside the lower lashes and it's like a warm, warm brown. It's a matte shade as well. And going back into the Sweet Peach, I'm going in with Just Peachy, which is like a peachy pink shade. Like as you can tell on my other other side, it's like a shift. Like it shift changes. So like at a certain angle, it looks peach. At another one, it looks pink. And it's really cool. I really liked it for the inner corner. And going back to the Morphe palette, I'm going to be using this shimmer shade which looks like a, a creamy beige but it's also a shift changes as well and I wanted to use it for a highlight under the brow bone area it's kind of like a pinkish bluish like I don't know I don't know how to describe it just shift changes and finishing off the eyes I'm going in with the lash blast volume from covergirl for the mascara this is one of my favorites I really like the volume that it gives my eyelashes and for the lower lashes as well and that's it for the eyes. Next up for the lips, I'm using this Buxom um, liquid lipstick in Centerfold, which is like, um, it's a matte shade and it's like a peachy nude. It's like a warm peachy nude shade. I thought it was perfect for spring. And this is it. Hopefully you guys like my video today. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm um, sorry I have been posting, or my posts have been kind of crazy. My internet, I've been fighting with it. <sighs> Spectrum's been messing up on me, but I'll be posting more soon. Aparecer bajo la luna llena sirena, precisamente en Cartagena, déjame.
vivir esto es un placer Baila 